Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading from my Virgos for the week starting April 25th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Um... Thank you for those who subscribed already. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your private messages, your comments. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my Virgos, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have for you, my Virgos, in the past position this week. We have the Tower. Disruption. Disruption in some type of, uh, well, in some areas of your life. We'll have to see the other cards to, um, to see which area it affects exactly. What we know so far is there was a full moon in your third house. Okay. It was in Scorpio last week and mercury will go retrograding this week will be retrograde this week okay so i mean uh i know that a full moon in the third house there's something about communication that ends that has been or will be ending this week and could be communication with your neighbors it could be communication with um uh you know your close friends maybe there's some type of relationship that ended and i say communication because Third house is a communication. It could be, you know, that you end a friendship or that you end some type of uh, things related to the third house, okay? Or maybe there's a move or there's something, there's some type of disruption here, okay? But let's see what we have in a position of the near past this week. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm happy to see this card. That's great energy, okay? So I guess... You know, maybe, maybe you felt the need to end something in order to allow something else to grow because that's what Scorpio does. Scorpio ends something that is unnecessary in order to begin something new, okay? So here the Ace of Cups announce a new love in your life, okay? A new cycle of love in your life for those that are already in a relationship. And like I said, for those that are single, it could be, you know, love coming in. You know, someone interested in you, or maybe you will be interested in someone else. That love, that passion, that bliss, which is representing by the Ace of Cups, could be in other areas of life. It could be that now, you know, with this type of change, you have a great energy at work, you're getting along with everybody, or you're communicating clearly, people have a great understanding with your expectation or who you are. You know, the Ace of Cups is, is a very personal card. It's all about bliss but also contentment that we have with ourselves and that what we have with other people okay that makes us it's all about feeling so there could be some type of um changes in your life that will bring some positive um energy in terms of how you relate like i said to other people or how, how people relate to you okay because it's a gift from from spirit and you know uh, water is good for, for Virgo and not just water. You know, I don't want to be mundane here and say like earth only good with, with water. Like I said in previous forecasts, it's not necessarily true. You know, there's so many other elements that are very, very compatible as well. It depends on the bird chart, but here is definitely something that will give you a lot of growth that will bring you some level of comfort for you this week. Let's see what we have in a position of the future this week. We have the King of Rods looking in that direction. So that could be, you know, like I said, it could be about love for you this week. Okay? It could be that, you know, now my single ladies, there's a man that is, you know, going, you know, towards your direction. That is aiming your way. Okay? Maybe uh, for my men, you have your eye on someone. Okay? And it, and you bring, that person bring all the passion and romance or some type of, you know, energy related to that area. Or it could be just that you want to focus on your career. Maybe now you have uh, attained some type of uh, level of respect in, in your field because he's a king and the king of rods is related to, you know, career. He's really concerned about career and goals and, 
you know, things that you want to accomplish. So maybe you're going to in that direction and the accomplishment you're looking at could be in any area of life, you know. It could be in your education because also we know that your ruler, Mercury, is in the ninth house, is in Taurus, okay. Uh, ninth house is about education. It's also about different areas of life. It could be um, also about spirituality. It could be about, um, you know, knowledge, knowledge of religion, knowledge of spirituality. Night house is a big house. So, you know, it, it's there's a lot of things in that area. But it shows that you're going forward. You're definitely feeling very ambitious, okay? And so I'm happy to see this card for you, my Virgos. And let's see what we have in a position of the outcome this week. The strength card. So it seems you may be going towards some something foreign, okay? And also, interesting enough, the night house does represent foreign place or foreign travel. And I say this because we have the strength card in the position of the outcome. We, you see this lady is in the jungle, and she's she has tamed a lion, okay? So the strength card is about finding yourself in a foreign place or in a foreign environment. Sometimes the environment could be hostile. Okay, because it's unknown, it may not be something easy to adjust, but it shows here that you have find now a comfort, okay, that you will have uh, the courage to overcome this environment and create some type of comfort for yourself. Okay, so it's a great energy for you, my Virgos, and like I said, it could be in different areas of life. Maybe uh, you want to travel, like, you know, maybe you're going to a place you're not too sure how you'll be received, having the strength card here shows that you'll be well received. So if there's someone that you're interested in, in terms of love, that maybe is different, you know, than you, go for it. Or if there's an activity that you're looking at or you want to explore, you're not too sure how you'll be received, go for it. That's what it really means, having the strength card in this position for you, my Virgos. I'm going to end this reading here. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.